Hi and welcome. Today I'm joining my friend Amanda at Rise and Procrastinate in her Christmas card series. We both are using watercolors. I'll have a link to her video down in my description. So I'm starting with a piece of watercolor paper and I have taped it down to a hardboard and now I'm just wetting the top part of it like two thirds and I'll be making a snowy kind of scene and also trying out the bouquet technique. So I'm using different shades of blue and if you have been here before you know that I always start with a light wash of color and then just gradually add more because even though the watercolors are quite forgiving I still prefer to have too little than too much of a pigment so I'm using the white knights watercolors and my palette is so big I always take the colors I need out I'm using bright blue and indigo and uh, later I will add the azure blue and the cobalt blue and if you notice I'm having my panel a bit upright so the colors flow more naturally down and also I, I will add a little bit of shading down at the very bottom I'm not going for any smooth transition of colors it's more like a wintry sky with few shades in it and the down part will be my snowy hue and here I'm adding the azure blue and of course having the panel a bit up and I'm just playing with the colors and also using a paper towel to soak up the excess and here I'm adding the cobalt blue just here and there I haven't used watercolors for a few months so I went for something easy but also something new to me I have never done the boca technique I thought that now is the time to try it out and I'm sorry that I'm a little bit off screen at the top I have changed my phone and I also haven't filmed anything for over a month. Once I was quite pleased with the look, I left the panel dry, even though I wasn't so patient. And when I started applying more water on top, the color started slightly reactivate, but it doesn't matter. Now I will just add a little bit more color to make it slightly darker at the top. And again, I'm using all of these shades of blue just randomly adding here and there to have some kind of variation and a little bit at the base as a shadow for the snowy hue and dabbing of any excess and again I will leave it to dry I took a piece of old packaging and I used circle punches in different sizes. So I have this big one and some small ones. I 
I'm not sure if you can see, but it will be more visible in just a bit. I have a clean water and old brush. I don't want to ruin my good ones. Now with a little bit of trial and error, just wetting the area and then using my paper towel to soak the water up. So I get this kind of light circles for the bokeh effect. And I discovered that when the brush is damp, not soggy wet, it goes a little bit better. I will continue off screen, varying the amount of water. And here is all dried. And now I can remove the masking tape. And I got a slightly tearing up there, but, but that's okay because I will be trimming it down anyway. I decided also to use this dye, which is from older tonic craft kit. And I cut it out using white cardstock and off screen I covered it with Copic markers and also gold marker. And the white what you see is a snow marker. Now I place the panel in a shoe box and I'm using the, the white gloss acrylic spray to create falling snow. So first I just tap to get some bigger snowflakes and on this packaging I'm taking a little bit from the spray and mixing it with water. Also using a really old stiff brush and now I'm creating a smaller snowflakes and I will do that for the die cut. And fast forward, this is my finished card. I was afraid to stamp on the front, so I added the sentiment inside. I used white cardstock for a frame and also this glitter coat frame. And these are close-ups. Thank you for stopping by and I hope you will go check Amanda. Bye!